Paul, the emails I was getting from him were very specific in terms of sex activity, like details. Like everybody says, oh, I had sex last night. Well, what, well, what kind of sex did you have? You know, if they, they could have had, you know, missionary, boring, dumb sex, or they could have had some exotic, you know, wonderful thing that had a design to it. Because, I, you know, design is very important with it for everything. So I'm getting these emails from a, a college student that is, it, they're, they're, some of the things he's actually experienced, and, and a lot of them are things he would like to experience. So it's, it, and it's very vanilla sex, but it's designed. So one of them was, uh, the woman is lying on her stomach, and, and her legs are tied at the, around the ankles with, with satin strands of fabric that he called shards. So evidently that's a term that you use for leftover satin pieces of fabric. And her hands are above her head so that she has a, her body is in a line. And, and, and he puts oil on her behind and down the center of her legs and his, and his penis. And then he gets on top and he glides his penis in between her legs up her ass cheeks and back down through the main other than back to down. And back and forth and back and forth. And I thought, wow, that's incredible. The, and then, so when he shows up, we did it. I mean, it was wild. I couldn't get over it. And of course it led to extraordinary anal sex, but done so well. Then the other one that was really bomb, another one of his vanilla fantasies, was you get a shower curtain and you put it down on the floor and we both oil our bodies all over and we get on the shower curtain and, you know, we have sex with this squirrely, sexy, you know, all, I guess it would be like mud wrestling or whatever. And so I thought, I'll, I'll listen, I'll try it. Why not? I mean, you know, it sounds cute. So. We, we couldn't. I couldn't get any purchase. It was just. <laughs> it was terrible. And of course, I can't say. You know, the mess. It was just. But it was an old rug. I didn't care. So we ended up. That didn't work. But it's to have somebody thinking in those terms. You. I understand it in the in the you know in the fantasy world in the SM community. They design scenes that they actually perform for the other people in the community. And I had done that. I did that with my girlfriend Eve. It was we were we were gay men. It was hysterical. I talk about this in my slideshow. And there's pictures of us. And we would go to these all women parties. And a lot of the women were lesbian separatists. And even I would go as gay men with the armbands and the butch caps and we'd have the strap-on dildos and you know and a lot of times we had our vibrator as, you know, the magic wand. The, the, yeah, they're very phallic. We would have that as our phallus. And the time we wore, we actually had uh, a strap on. We would we would walk around, and and if we really one of the women that was just ugh, men, yeah. We would go over. We would make sure that the dildo brushed up against. Oh, keep that thing away. Keep that away from me. Keep that away. Oh, we were so bad. But this is the idea of designing. I mean, a oh, big thing to get around to, the concept of how would you design sex that would be erotic or fun or exciting. So the concept of design, that's sex. So that's what I called my business when I first went into business, body sex designs. Oh, it's bringing art into the whole process. Sex can be an art form. Oh, oh, it isn't just... Thank you, honey. Catch you next week.